Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0, and today we'll be making this very nice chain link effect. So this effect, it helps you automate your scenes. Taking an edge like this, as we can see here, just three points that are subdivided, and then using Geometry Nodes to make chain links on this. As we can see, we can move these points around, and the chain links will automatically uh, form correctly, no stretching, none of that, and with their very proper chain length crisscross effect. So, how do we do this? Well, let's add in a plane to act as our edge object. Let's delete these vertices over here, uh, subdivide this, bring these two edges up a bit, and then let's subdivide this edge. There we go. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And now what we're going to do is start the actual geometry nodes part of this. So add in a geometry node and use the mesh to curve node. What this will do is give us the rotation data for later because regular edges do not have rotation data. Next, what we are going to do is add in a curve and a curve two points node. As we can see, the rotation data is now exposed. Next, set this to length. This will make it so that there is no stretching when we move the edge and make it bigger. And then we're going to use an instance on points node in order to instance the points on the uh, curve. Put the rotation output into the rotation input right here. And let's add in a mesh primitive cube as our prototype chain link. As we can see here, if we resize this to make it more along the kind of chain aspect that it is aligned to the curve but there's a problem the rotation's all the same chains do the crisscross effect so to do that it's actually fairly simple we use a utilities rotate euler node set this to axis angle and local make sure it's on local or else this won't work right and then we use the index info this means that this is like one, two, three, four, five. It gives uh, one number for each vertice on here. And then we use a math node, set it to multiply. And then we put this into the angle. And then we automatically have these turning. Now, if we set this to something like 1.5, we get a very nice, the very nice crisscrossing effect that is common in quite a few chains. But it is not limited to this. If we reduce this a bit, we get this very nice kind of, I don't know what you would call this, kind of snaking effect. But for now, we'll just focus on the regular chain. So, after this, let's use an actual chain object. You can make your own, but before I started recording, I made this one. We will plug this in right here. And as we could see, it works quite well. But what if we want to like scale these chains down a bit? Well, now we can see that they're not spaced properly, but we could fix this very easily by changing the length as we put in earlier. And if we just adjust that to something like 0.22, as we can see, it all starts working again pretty much flawlessly. And with this effect, of course, you get quite a bit of freedom and control over it. You can make tons of curves, quote unquote curves, because they're kind of edges in one object and you could just put as many as you want in a scene and it won't bog down your computer too much because all these chain links are instances and that is basically the entire effect if you want to support my channel look at my twitter page my gumroad page subscribe to the youtube channels and of course if you have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know in the comments. I like seeing the feedback, and it helps me come up with ideas. So, I will see you in the next tutorial, and have a great day.